Humble Pronunciation Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl The Queen here and I'm back at you with another video. Yes, in this video, we will be exploring the symbol pronunciation dialogue. First, I'll be giving you a little information about the dialogue. Then later on, I'll be giving you a demonstration on how you would use the dialogue. But before we get into the video, first of all, a shout out to my friend Andre who helped me with getting all the information for this video. I also want you guys to like this video and share this video with others because if you didn't know when you like the video YouTube would automatically put it in person's suggested list also subscribe if you're new and turn on the notification bell to be alerted whenever I post a video note that the instrumentals for this video have been provided by inner sanctum entertainment LTD but without further ado let's get right into the video so the symbol pronunciation dialogue controls how symbols are spoken when using NVDA. You can add new symbols, change what is said when a symbol is encountered, change the level at which it is spoken, and change the behavior of the speech synthesizer when the symbol is encountered. To access this symbol pronunciation dialogue, first open the NVDA menu, then down arrow to preferences. Move down to punctuation slash symbol pronunciation, then press enter. You may also assign an input gesture to this dialog. And if you don't know how, check out my video in which I take you through the input gestures dialog. The layout. Okay, so let me explain to you the layout of the symbol pronunciations dialog. Number one, the symbols list. This includes all the symbols, including emojis that are recognized by NVDA. Some symbols may appear twice. This is because some symbols are used in different contexts. For example, an apostrophe, which NVDA calls tick, may be used in the middle of the word to show ownership or just as a symbol by itself. You may therefore need to change the replacement for the symbol twice. Number two, replacement. This edit box contains a text of what is spoken by NVDA when the symbol is encountered. For example, for the comma, you would see C-O-M-M-A, or if it was an emoji, say for instance the emoji with the smiling face with the hearts around it, you will see it have their smiling face with hearts. Number 3. Level This combo box tells NVDA at what level the symbol should be spoken. The five levels are none, some, most, all, and character. By the way, the character level means when reporting or moving by characters. By default, NVDA is set to the SUM level. This means that only the symbols that are set at the NON and the SUM level are spoken. Think of the symbols levels as levels on a ladder, with NON being the lowest and character being the highest. Therefore, a symbol like DASH, which by default is spoken at the MOST level, will not be spoken at the NON or SUM levels. A symbol like the dollar sign will only be spoken at the all level at which it is set and the character level. The higher you go, the more symbols are spoken. The lower you go, the less symbols are spoken. Most emojis are set to the non level and are therefore spoken at the none, some, most, all, and character levels. When a symbol is set to the character level, it is only spoken when reporting or moving by character, such as when using the left or right arrow keys. As it is the highest, every symbol at this level is spoken when reporting or moving by characters. To change symbol levels from anywhere, press NVDA plus P. You may also change this setting from the speech settings using the punctuation slash symbol level combo box. Number 4. Send actual symbol to synthesizer. This combo box determines what the speech synthesizer does when it encounters the symbol. The choices are never, always, or only below symbols level. Speech synthesizers may process symbols in different ways. For some symbols, the synthesizer may insert a pause, increase the inflection, or change how it speaks the text near the symbol. NVDA, on the other hand, only replaces the symbol with the text in the replacement edit box and does no further processing. However, in some cases, symbol processing by the synthesizer would be necessary. Common examples include for a dot at the end of a sentence, a comma, an exclamation point, a question mark, parenthesis, and a dash. In these cases, the synthesizer may behave differently when these symbols are encountered. When set to never, only NVDA will process the symbol. 
meaning it will speak the symbol's replacement and nothing else. When set to always, NVIDIA will process the symbol, but the synthesizer will do so as well. For example, with left and right parentheses, NVIDIA replaces both symbols with left and right paren. But for some speech synthesizers like Windows One Core Voices and eSpeak, the text inside the parentheses is spoken after a brief pause. If the symbol level is set to some or none, only the text is spoken. But when set to most or all, the text is spoken after a pause. But the left and right paren replacement is also spoken before and after the text respectively. The character level will not affect how the symbol is spoken in this case. When set to only below symbols level, sending the symbol to the synthesizer will only occur at the level or levels below the one the symbol is set to be spoken. For example, if the symbol level is set to all and the sending of the actual symbol to the synthesizer is set to only below symbols level, the symbol will only be sent at the none, some and most levels. NVIDIA's processing will be used at and above the symbol level. Using the same example, the symbol will be replaced by the text in the replacement edit box at the all and characters level if the parentheses were set to only below symbols level. Then the pause will be heard when the symbol level is set to some and none, which are below most, and left and right paren will be spoken without any pause at the most and all levels. Number 5. Add. This is a button to add a new symbol to the symbols list. Number 6. Remove. This is conditional and only appears when an added symbol is focused in the symbols list, and it is used to remove added symbols. Number 7. OK. This closes the dialog and saves all changes. The Enter key could also perform this action. Number 8. Cancel. This closes the dialog without making any changes, and your Escape key can also perform the same function. This may be useful when mistakes are made when adding or removing symbols. Number 9. Filter by. This is used to search for symbols and symbol replacements. Now let's get right into the demonstration. Before we begin, you should know that I currently have my symbol pronunciation level set at most. Therefore, it would read most of the symbols. But by default, your NVIDIA symbol level should be set at some unless you had changed the setting. And remember that you can quickly change that setting by pressing your NVIDIA key, which in my case is my insert, plus your P until you hear the level that you want it to be changed to. Now let's get into changing some symbol pronunciation settings. First, let me show you how to add a new symbol. I am actually going to use the alpha symbol from the Greek alphabet. But first, I need to switch into another synthesizer because the one core voice that I'm currently using already reads the alpha symbol. Vocalizer profile activated. Now, I'm in a Word document. Let's read this line of text. Alpha left parent right parent. You realize that it doesn't read the symbol that is in the brackets, but if I should read by character? A. L. P. H, A, left paren, Greek letter alpha, right paren. There it is. Now, let's get into the dialogue to change some settings. First, I'm going to copy the actual symbol because we're going to need it in order to add it. Greek letter alpha, Greek letter alpha selected. Now, I'm going to follow the steps from earlier in the video to access the symbol pronunciations dialogue. NVDA menu, preferences submenu P, settings S, speech dictionary submenu D, Punctuation slash symbol pronunciation, P. Symbol pronunciation left paren English right paren, dialogue, symbols list, dot sentence ending semi, replacement colon, dot semi, level colon, all semi, preserve colon, always one of 4055. Ah, uh, now we're in the dialogue and we're currently in the symbols list. In order to add a new symbol, first we'd need to tab to the add button. Change selected symbol grouping, replacement edit alt plus r selected dot, level combo box all collapsed alt plus l, send actual symbol to synthesizer combo box always collapsed alt plus s, add button alt plus a, and press enter. Add symbol dialog, symbol colon, edit alt plus s blank. Now here, you will paste in the actual symbol that you want to add, so I'll use my control plus v, then tab to ok and press enter. Ok button. Symbol pronunciation left paren English right paren, dialogue, symbols list, Greek letter alpha semi, level colon, all semi, preserve colon, never 4056 of 4056. And there you go, my symbol has now been added to the symbols list. Now let's tab to change some settings for this symbol. 
Change selected symbol grouping. Replacement edit alt plus R blank. First, I want to set the replacement to alpha instead of that Greek whatever whatever that we were hearing before. So let me type it here. A L P H A. Then once you're finished typing your replacement, you can tab away. Level combo box all collapsed alt plus L. Now let me change it to the level that I am at, which is most, so that I can hear it when it's being read. And you can use your up and down arrows right here to change the option. So let me use my up arrow. Most. Now that is all I want to change, so I'm gonna tab to OK. Send actual symbol to synthesizer combo box never collapsed alt plus S. Add button alt plus A. Remove button alt plus M. OK button. Then I'll press enter. Document 2 dash word. Microsoft Word Documents Edit Multi Line Selected Alpha. Alright, and if I should read the line again? Page 1, Section 1, Alpha Left Paran, Alpha Right Paran. And there you go, the changes have been made and it now reads the symbol. Now, let me demonstrate using the replacement option by changing a few settings for the greater than sign. First, let me switch back to my regular synthesizer. Vocalizer profile deactivated. Alright. Now I'm going to read a line with a greater than sign in it and you'll hear that by default NVDA says 12 greater 5 There you go, it says greater for the greater than sign Now I want to set it so that it says greater than instead of greater So first I'll need to go into the symbol pronunciations dialog NVDA menu Preferences sub menu P Settings Speech to Punctuation slash symbol pronunciation Symbol pronunciation left paren English right paren Dialog Symbols list dot sentence ending semi replacement colon then i would go to the filter by field by tabbing or a quicker way would be pressing alt plus f filter by colon edit alt plus f blank then i would type in greater to find that symbol since that is what nvda calls it g r e a t e r then i would press tab symbols list greater semi replacement colon greater semi level colon some semi preserve colon Never one of nine. Now you see that the greater than sign appears first in the symbols list. And I must note, before you tab to change any settings, please make sure that you are currently selected on the symbol that you want to change the settings for. And you can always navigate the list of the symbols by using your up or down arrow. Now from here I would tab to where it says replacement. Change selected symbol grouping. Replacement edit alt plus R selected greater. Then I would type in what I want it to be changed to, which in this case would be greater than G R E A T E R space T H A N. Then I would tab level combo box some collapsed alt plus L. Now I also want to change the level, and as you can see there, the greater than sign level is set at sum. That is why it was read earlier on when I read it by line. But let me set it to all, which is above the most, and we'll see how it will read it later on. So let me down arrow most all and those are all the changes that i want to make so now i'm gonna tap to the ok button and press enter or you could have just pressed enter here send actual symbol to synthesizer combo box never collapsed alt plus s and i will ignore the send actual symbol to synthesizer box for now this is because the greater than and less than signs are usually not processed by the synthesizer hence we'll leave it alone add button alt plus ok button document 2 dash word Microsoft Word document edit multi-line page 1 section 1125. And there you go, it does not read the sign when it reads by line because my NVDA symbol level is set to most and I set the level that the greater than sign will be read to at all. But if I should read it by character... 1, 2, greater than, 5. There you go, you realize that it now says greater than instead of greater. Okay, now let me demonstrate how the send actual symbol to synthesizer option works. Let's change some settings for the comma. First, let's read a line with a comma in it. I love dogs, do you? You realize that there's a pause before do you between dogs and do. And if I should read by character, you'll see that a comma is there but it does not say it when I read by line. Cap I L O V E D O G S comma D O Y O U question. That is because the comma is set to be read at the all level, which is above the most level that I am currently on. Also, the send symbol to synthesizer option for the comma is set to always, so that's why you hear a pause. Now, let's get into the dialogue. NVDA menu. 
Preferences Submenu P. Settings. Speech. Punctuation slash symbol. Pr symbol pronunciation left paren. English right paren. Dialogue. Symbols list. Then tap to the filter by field or another quick way is by using your shift tab. Filter by colon. Edit alt plus F blank. Then let's type comma because that is what NVDA calls it. C O M M A. Then press tab. Symbols list. Semi. Replacement colon. Comma semi. Level colon. All semi. Preserve colon. Always one of four. You will see that the comma symbol appears first in the symbols list. Now let me tab to the send actual symbol to synthesize your combo box. Change selected symbol grouping. Replacement edit alt plus r selected comma. Level combo box all collapsed alt plus l. Send actual symbol to synthesizer combo box always collapsed alt plus s. And right here I am going to choose never. So I'm going to use my up arrow. Never. Then I'm going to tab to OK and press enter. Add button alt OK button. Document 2 dash word. Microsoft Word document edit multi-line page 1 section 1 I love dogs do you? Now you realize that NVDA does not pause where there is a comma. And if I should read it by character? Cap I L O V E D O G S comma D O Y O U question. You see that the comma is still there. Well, that's it guys. That's it for the video and what a wonderful video it has been. I went through the whole symbol pronunciations dialogue with you guys. Hopefully this video has been helpful and you can go ahead, add your different symbols and change your different symbol settings as you please. And remember, make sure to share this video to others, like the video and subscribe if you're new and turn on that notifications as well. Instrumentals have been provided by if you need instrumentals, recording, mixing, or mastering, maybe a music video, photo shoot, or graphic designing, need bouncy castles, face painting, popcorn, cotton candy, or characters for the kids, want to do online or offline promotion, maybe both, let's print your t-shirts and everything else. Here at Inner Sanctum Entertainment Limited, we got you covered. Reach us on FB and Instagram at Inner Sanctum Entertainment LTD, YouTube at Inner Sanctum Entertainment, and Twitter at iSanctum Studios. Or call us at 1-866-338-4123. That's 1-866-338-4123. Thanks once again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.